eternal God and our Father, come to you, Lord, this morning in the name of Jesus. Thanking you for your goodness, for your grace, and for your mercy. Thank you, Lord, for your love and your compassion. We praise you, O God, for your peace that passeth all understanding. We worship you, O Lord, because you are worthy to be worshipped, to be honored and adored. Eternal God, thou art our Father in heaven. We thank you, Lord, for your mercies and compassion towards us, the children of man. Indeed, Lord, your hand has formed us and fashioned us. You have knitted us in our mother's womb. And we come forth, Lord, we come forth and we give you glory. We give you honor and we give you praise. But Lord, we have fallen short of that glory of God. And as we come this morning, we recognize our fallen state and ask, Lord, that you will forgive us of our sins, of our transgressions, and our iniquity. That you will wash us one more time in that blood that flows from Calvary's hill. And that, Lord, you will teach us how to be faithful, obedient, and true to you. Oh God, we ask that you will search our hearts. And whatever that is there, oh God, that does not glorify you, we ask that you will remove it in the name of Jesus, by the power of your Holy Spirit. Forgive us, Lord, of the sins of commission and the sins of omission. The sins, Lord, the things that we know we should have done and we did not do it. And the things, Lord, we know we shouldn't have done and we find ourselves doing them. Oh, Lord, we come this morning in need of a revival. In need, Lord, of another touch of your hands. We pray, Lord, that you will revive us again. That you will baptize us anew. That you will consecrate us to your service, O oh God. Please, Jesus, revive our spirit. Revive our spirituality, Lord, our lifestyle. Help us, dear God, that we will have a reformation. That the way we do things, Lord, will not just be the mundane way of doing everything we usually do. But we will find new ways, new ideas that springs from your inspiration. Oh God, fill us with your Holy Spirit after you've emptied us of ourselves selfishness greed covetousness malice and all these sins that so easily beset us that is crippling to our spiritual condition we pray O oh lord that you will remove them from us and that you will wash us one more time in your blood and help, Lord, that our lives will truly reflect you. We pray, Father, for our children, our grandchildren, for our youths, for our babies in the womb, those that are just conceived and those, Lord, that are about to give birth to, that you will touch them from the womb, Lord God, that you will place your mark upon them, your mark of approval, your mark of authority, because we know, Lord, that Satan is no respecter of person and he starts 
interfere with them from conception from the womb unto the tomb he is afflicting us but Lord we ask that you will assign your mighty angels about our children and us angels that excel in strength as it is written the angel of the Lord encamped run about them that fear him and delivers them May your angel continue to encamp about us, O Lord, and our children. May they continue, Lord, to encamp about us and deliver us in your power. O Holy Heavenly Father, we think of our knife crimes that is growing out of proportion, the epidemic that is going on, Lord God, of crime and violence on our streets. We pray, Lord, for the peace of our city, London. We pray, Lord God, for our local community that we live in, that, Lord, you will move up and down the streets of our community and that you will weed out all wickedness, all crime, all drug trafficking, all human trafficking. Oh, Father, knife crime, gun crime, alcohol abuse, substance abuse, we pray, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, that you will intervene, Lord, and our street. You will intervene, Lord, on the behalf of our people. You will intervene, Lord, on behalf of the vulnerable, the weak, those who don't have a voice for themselves. Lord, I pray that you will help us to stand as the voice for them. Those who can't see, help us to be their eyes. Those who can't hear, use us to be their ears. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. I pray, Lord, for every one of my listeners and subscribers. That, Father, you will continue to bless them and their hopeful. You will continue, Lord, to move mightily in their lives. Provide for those who are seeking jobs. Provide continually, oh God, I pray. And for those, Lord, who have jobs and are having trouble on their jobs, I pray, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that you will intervene, Lord, and that you will move mightily on their behalf, Lord, that they will retain their jobs and that will, you will equip them, Lord, with skill, with wisdom, knowledge about their job, the understanding of their jobs, that they may perform their tasks with dignity, with clarity, and Father, with love in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, I pray, Lord, on behalf of all my listeners and subscribers, that you will watch over them as they go throughout today, that you will strengthen their faith in you, that you will fill them, Lord, with your Holy Spirit. That you will arm them, Lord, as they go out. Help them, Lord, to take on the whole armor of Christ Jesus. That they may be able to withstand against the fiery darts of the enemy. And having done all to stand, help them to stand firm for you. I pray, Jesus, that you will help them, Lord, to trust in you with all their hearts to lean not unto their own understanding but in all their ways Lord God help them to acknowledge you and to allow you to direct their path thank you father for everything thank you for hearing oh God thank you for answering my prayers father in Jesus name I pray hear us oh God and keep us pray for our church and our leadership that, Lord, you will continue to move mightily among us. And that you will lead out among us. That you will bless our leaders with vision. Bless them, O oh God, with ideas. Help them, Lord, to move away from the, 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 the ancient method of doing things. And to seek new ways and new method of doing things, Lord. It's not just one way. But it's many way, Lord, of ministering to others. Help us, Lord, to capitalize and to be in touch with our communities. To know what's happening in our communities so that we can move and make use of these opportunities that you are giving to us. 
to be heard and to be seen, to be visible in our community. That they will want to be a part of us. Help us, Lord, that the atmosphere of our churches will be one where others can feel loved and feel belonged, feel a part of us to want to be with us. Help us to mingle ourselves with men, Lord God, not changing our ways, but mingle ourselves with them, maintaining our principles and not giving to, 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 to worldly pledges and the ideologies and the ways of the world, but to be the salt among them, to be the light among them so that we will add flavor and add taste to their lifestyle. Oh God, hear us, we pray. Give us vision, Lord, lest we perish. And help us not to be the blind leading the blind. But to be people of vision. People with ideas. People of culture. People of substance. People of God. Oh Lord, lead us, we pray. And hear us as we call. Answer us, we pray. In Jesus' names. Amen.